we also know that faith matters, that it makes a difference, don't we? Jesus says to us today, don't give up, don't give in. Faith is what can keep you going. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 says, Be watchful, stand firm in your faith. If you look close, this section contains five imperatives, meaning really commands. Here it is what God has given us in baptism that bridges the gap between believing and doing between what we are and what we will be. The hallmark of our existence is a hiddenness established in the event of the cross. We need these imperatives to remind us of our focus. What does that mean? It means that we press on because in baptism Christ has made us his own. Here's a story that I have never told a soul. When I was in high school, there was a kid in the class ahead of me that wanted more than anything to be a part of Major League Baseball. Honestly, he was a good player on our baseball team. And <laughs> honestly, everybody in that school knew which days Dwayne was scheduled to pitch because he stayed home and slept in and didn't come until sixth hour on those days. He could still play as long as he was there for one class period. And so he made sure that he was there for that. Honestly, the other night, by pure chance, on social media, I bumped into the woman that he married, his wife. And so I had a chance to ask her, gosh, what did ever happen to Dwayne, who was so focused on that dream? Well, the year that he graduated from our high school, 1969, he was drafted by the Chicago White Sox. No lie, that's true. He played minor league ball for 10 years. Yep. Then he became a coach, a pitching coach, a minor league manager even. Then he went into scouting and eventually became the Chicago White Sox director of scouting for many, many years. In 2019, a stroke caused Dwayne to retire from professional baseball. Honestly, it's a wonderful story, and I think what means the most to me is the very last thing that his wife had to say to me. She said he'd still be going to games if he could. Of course he would, because he was focused. He believed in himself. He had a dream. And he did everything to help that dream come true. You just tell me, isn't that what grace is supposed to be like in your life and in mine? Faith, yeah, it really does matter. So hear Jesus whispering to you today, don't give up, don't give in, no. Faith is all you need to keep going. Just ask my friend, Dwayne.